know you can convert time into mass? Well, not exactly time, but the time it takes for something to go somewhere. What? <laughs> Let's say we're accelerating a compound, a molecule, and we're putting that through an electric field, and that electric field exerts a force which gives that molecule an acceleration. Now this a is equal to velocity over time, which is an oversimplification, but for now, for now it's fine. So in this f equals ma, or mv over t, we get a relationship where m and t are in the same place, right? Okay, so we just need to know what t is. Because we already know what f is, because that just depends on the magnetic field that we're putting the compound under. So there's really just two things that are going on. One is that we're accelerating a compound. The second thing is that we're adding time. So how the fuck do you add time, right? So we're putting the compound under this region 